Hi, welcome. I'm going to show you an update. Today is July 6th or 7th. I think it's the 7th. And I'm going to show you an update on what's going on in my garden and everything, what we've been doing. And you can actually see right here, that's the greenhouse part of it. So a lot has changed since last time. So let's go on. Here is the greenhouse. Um, we have gotten so many cucumbers out of here. It is crazy. So hopefully I don't get lost in this jungle. Well, if you could look in here, we have some more cucumbers that we need to pick. A lot of stuff in here. But the cool thing is, if you look down here, this is our watermelon plant, one of them. Sorry, right there. And let's see if I can find it. We have a watermelon growing. How cool is that? And we have so we had a couple other ones. We, so things have been being pollinated. Our honeybees do come in here with more uh, watermelon plants coming here. I, last time I checked, I don't think anything was growing yet. At least if it is, we haven't seen any. Um, right here, our rice is doing well and I have to this is too much water so give me one second okay I just asked John he says he overwatered it and he usually puts it down there so maybe that's why the rice are doing so good <laughs> because it's in a lot of water but Nothing died yet, so that's good. Whoa! I did not see this before, but I don't know if John even knows it's here. So I'm going to show him that. That is humongous. Okay, apparently that's a, what happens when you have over-ripened cucumbers. They turn yellow. That is weird. And I just saw another cucumber over here there we have so much cucumbers and I'll show you the ones that we actually already harvested uh, here's down below oh there's another watermelon cool I didn't see that one before look how crazy it looks from underneath <laughs> so that's cool right there so in all, this is cool. And then I will show you what's out there. Before we go out there, there's another little one. That's cool. Okay. Remember how that we had that little spot like right here? Look at this now. It's really hard to walk in the backyard. Um, we have pumpkins, squashes, and hold on, I gotta show you something in here. First. Look at that one. And then there's another one, which we're going to have to be picking soon. There's that. And if you see the one behind it, there's another one growing. So there's probably a whole bunch of squashes in here that we don't know exactly where. Um, yeah. So follow me. Okay. Because that, I, it's even coming over here. We haven't done a lot of weeding. Um, look at these flowers. Look how beautiful these are. And our corn. <laughs> Remember how they're a lot smaller, but they're not going to get much bigger than this because they're already starting to get the pollen out. So we, we, these were in cups too long. Look how cool is that? And look at our beehive. 
We have bees on the outside because they're trying to cool off. And then our uh, fruit tree, some things have happened since the last video and I'll show you that. But before we get to the fruit trees, the deer have gotten here, but our grapevines, they got plumper. Ooh. Look at that. How beautiful. There are some down here. Not as much as they used to be, but uh, the mosquitoes are out. And the deer ate this one. Remember how it was all up on, ooh, all up on here? The deer got to them. There are still some grapes, though. Okay, now onto the fruit trees. These one apples that we have, we're not going to probably eat them because they're all demented. And there's only like three of them on there. Okay, this was our Norman tree. The apples are doing really good. But I don't know if you'll be able to eat them because of the way they look. And there's not a lot left on here, which means that the beetles have gotten them. And I don't believe there's any up there anymore, which kind of stinks. And then the only other tree that had fruit on it was our pear tree, and I'll show you that. Because our peach tree, they all fell off. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but this is our peach tree, and it, it's still doing really, really well. Which peach, uh, why did I say peach? I meant pear tree. Looking pretty well. I'm gonna try and get a closer picture. That's just kind of cool. The only thing that stinks about it back here mosquitoes a lot of them so those are the only fruits that we got left this year um it kind of stinks but we have some more of the stuff that we have done and i'll show you that we actually are putting up a fence here let me move back a little um we put the pen uh, half of it not half but a big chunk of it in the ground and i know there's an opening right here but we're gonna put um, like chicken net in, in there to help with the the deer, because we are gonna eventually do this whole fence area. We are getting closer with our pond. It got a little bit deeper, so I can't wait for that to be done. But it's, we filled out like two dumps, like full of my husband's truck bed. Got rid of them. But, okay, on to, onward. Okay, my husband just found this. It's a hornworm, which loves pota what, t tomato plants. What's on it? Those are wasp eggs. Okay, hold up. See all that? Wasps, I guess, apparently laid lots of eggs on them. Yeah, and then the baby wasps hatch out, burrow into the caterpillar, and then they just ate in the caterpillar eating the caterpillar from the inside out and then they hatch out as little wasps we are getting rid of them why i like these wasps but yeah never seen that on a caterpillar yep that happens to these corn worms all the time that's just crazy are you gonna put it where are you gonna put them well, i'm probably gonna get rid of them okay I'm thinking about it. feed it to who our chickens no Here's yes. some telemellows that are we haven't planted them since the first year we came here, which is two years ago. So these are all fellow, they just plant, replanted themselves two years in a row now, which is kind of cool. Here is a line of our tomato plants in between the weeds. And let's see if we can see some. They're not green, uh, red yet, but here's some in here. There are more, but it's really hard to see because they're green. 
but all these are tomato plants. We have to dig up our potatoes because they're ready to be harvested. Here is some of tomatoes, more. And our potatoes over here, um, this is still, we've pulled off, how, uh, how many squashes did we get off of this so far? Yeah, from this one plant, we got seven or eight squashes from it. But over here are the tomato um, potatoes, and they're just about dead back, which means next couple of days we will be harvesting them. And I can't wait. Now on this side of the greenhouse, where we have our raspberries, in there we've gotten so many raspberries, it's not even funny. But that's good. We also have another pumpkin here. Uh, John, he just put plant pumpkins everywhere. And if you see, we got wood chips. That's new from the last video. We have a whole bunch of wood chips that we're going to be getting. We also have two truckloads already. I left, we already did a truckload. We have this. Another pumpkin down there. We've been getting a lot of blueberries. We have a lot of blueberries inside. We've been eating blueberry pancakes a lot. We have seen more mulch down here. Blueberry. And there's more mulch um, wood chips that we're going to be putting into our our beds and stuff upstairs I'll show you what we planted up there in here we have more and John also planted a lot of pumpkins so this they're a little slower off because we planted them a little bit later and we put some uh, sunflowers up here too which I will show you and from the last video we t showed you how we don't um we didn't get any cherries this year Ooh, a bee just went in here oh it already went out trying to get that okay let's see okay we put all this with wood chips in here to help with the weeds because weeds are everywhere here is a pumpkin like i said it's really not a lot um we plant these later sorry i can think of the words i plant a lot of sunflowers but they were so long in the containers that they didn't last Here's one, and there's another one, but can't wait for them to get bigger. And I did a lot of different varieties, so I'm not sure exactly what is going to come up. More sunflowers. I tried to put sunflowers around each of the trees. More pumpkin seeds that are finally coming up. Here's more pumpkins. So we have a lot going on. I think somebody was trying to dig that up. But more sunflowers. And pumpkins. This bush is doing really nicely. It's just a regular bush. This looks like it's missing some kind of nutrients because it's a lot lighter. I'm not sure if it's iron or not. Our plants they died so you saw the, them earlier in the last video so that's up here and it makes me happy um the flowers are over there still they're doing good but i also want to show you our fig tree here's our fig tree nothing no figs yet but we do have a fig tree in the house that is has a little bit of figs on it another pumpkin Which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, the garden by our steps. We've been, I've eaten so much lettuce lately, which is good. But dang, a lot of lettuce. We cut them and they keep on growing, which is good. Here is the coop, and remember how we had that little stand in the side, that, which I said we're gonna put the chickens from the coop in, in the greenhouse. Here they are, and they're 
just about big enough to go into the new coop, into here with them. If you see, we have no male roosters. We actually went to the farmer's market, like I said, and we sold five roosters. We were gonna keep one, which we did, but the next, we came out the next day, the chickens were out and a rooster and one of the other birds was missing. So we think a hook or something got to them. Can't find them anywhere. So yeah, but tonight, we are gonna be moving these chickens into the coop with them, but that's gonna be another video. And especially since it's get, we've had a lot of rain, it got really muddy down there. So it's definitely time. There's some really cool ones. Anyway, um, I hope you guys like these videos. Hit like if you like, subscribe if you wanna see more. And I hope you do, and until next time, peace out, love y'all, bye.